Last week I made a video about city builder games due to growing popularity of Manalord, and at some point in the video I mentioned that I would gladly make another one strictly about colony sims as it is one of my favorite genres. As you can see, I followed through with that promise and I've tried my best to find some of the best games that are also similar to the very popular RimWorld. I hope you enjoyed this video and find some great new games to play, but before we start don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with great indie games and new releases, and feel free to join my Discord server and promote your game there if you are a developer. Let's start our list with Stranded Alien Dawn. The fate of a small marooned group is in our hands. We are stranded in an unforgiving world, limited resources, unpredictable weather, illness and hostile alien creatures are standing in our way to establish a foothold in this land. We have to do everything to make them safe and discover this expansive and living world. We will have to manage our survival's needs, health and happiness. Construct and evolve our base from a basic camp to a fortified stronghold, plant, grow, harvest and hunt down animals to create a stable source of food. We can also take advantage of some less fortunate travelers and hunt down and scrap some space debris, chunks of spacecraft and research new technologies. There is so much more going on in this game. Alien attacks, harsh weather conditions and the need to provide heat, light and relaxation to keep our colonists ready to face any challenges. This game is truly amazing and I'm sure you will have a lot of fun playing it. Noble Fates is really an interesting title. In this game we are a demigod, using our powers to lead a group of nobles from rocks to riches. We choose the origin story of our nobles, customize them and help them thrive. This game is your typical colony sim, where your colonists matter the most. They start families, grow stats and traits, have their needs, opinions and stories. Each of them is unique and you have to keep them happy and motivated. They learn, influence one another, age, regress and, well, die. But their story will remain and if you keep them happy and motivated, they will ensure they go down with some great achievements. What is also very unique is the ability to take control of your pawns. You can take control of your ruler in third person, embark on quests, mine, build, craft, hunt and even more. This is one of the best games you can play, so give it a try. Now a game that was actually my first entry into the genre. Prison Architect is one hell of a unique game. I played this title for some time before I even discovered Rimworld. This is your prison management sim. You take on the role of a prison warden. You have to carefully plan your prison, customize and build rooms to meet the needs of your prisoners, keep them engaged, happy, fat and healthy. But as you might expect, prisoners are not exactly easy to manage. Each of them has their unique stories, traits and crimes they committed. They can be more or less aggressive and dangerous, so be careful who you bring in. More dangerous prisoners yield more finances but require more work. You have to keep them in separate compounds, invest in armed guards and guard dogs. They require hard work, but it's your job, right? You can ask for certain grants and build places they tell you to build, create job for your prisoners and so on. This game is one of the best I've ever played and the only reason I placed it at the beginning of the list is because even though it looks similar to RimWorld and is an amazing game, it's just different but really amazing and I think you have to try it. And now yet another great game. Oxygen Not Included is a space colony simulation game. This game is basically RimWorld, but from a different perspective. It's from Clay Entertainment, known for titles like Don't Starve, and that's why you can see so many similarities in terms of aesthetics. This is your typical colony sim, where you have to survive in harsh conditions, build your colony and keep your survivors happy. Your main enemy is Oxygen, or lack of it. You have to keep an eye on oxygen levels, monitor carbon dioxide accumulation and oversee oxygen generation. Breathing is very important, remember. Everything in your colony is under your control, from excavation and resource allocation to plumbing and power systems. The game leans more on the technical and mechanical side. You have to maintain a nice, a cozy atmosphere by producing heat, 
Create pipe systems to deliver fuel and liquid to critical areas of your base, create various power sources, recycle materials and explore. This game is truly amazing and there is so much more to discover. Now Clanfolk is something you may enjoy very much as it is very close to reward but with a more medieval twist. I mean purely medieval. This title is about creating a family in the Scottish Highlands. You start with an empty plot of land and your closest family. You have to learn how to survive, establish your hearth and home, watch over livestock, harvest your fields and prepare for winter. You can do whatever you want with your land. Do you want to have an inn or a trade hub or maybe just a self-sustainable homestead? It's up to you how you will manage your lands and the lives of your clan folk. You will create your lineage or choose an existing clan. Your family members will get married, have children, grow old and eventually pass away. You will also have to schedule their lives to make them well rested, fed and happy. Their rituals, relationships and relaxation are very important. Each of them is unique with their own traits and abilities. You will also fight the harsh conditions of each passing season, make technological advancements, create realistic production chains and many, many more. This game is about life and family. You will lead generations of your clan and provide them with a place to call home. Going Medieval is a game that may not be the first one you would expect, but hear me out. This charming game lets you build your own fortress, or rather the whole kingdom to be precise, and manage your villagers. You can freely shape your castle thanks to the 3D terrain tool this game offers, which is one of the best terraforming mechanics I've ever seen. This developer is known for the terraforming games and they are amazing. You will build your castle as you want, but you also have to take care of your villagers. You must keep them happy, defend them from raids and the dangers of the wilderness, and ensure they don't starve. Yep, you have to take care of them so they can survive and live a happy life. This is a big part of your journey. You have to help your villagers and strangers to attract them to your kingdom. Each of them have personal histories and agendas and you can get to know them by observing their behavior and relationships with others. This game is actually amazing and a lot of fun to play. Norland is an upcoming medieval colony simulator. This game looks amazing and if you want something full of schemes, political intrigues and good old medieval brutality, I would suggest keeping an eye on this title. We will control a noble family full of unique individuals with their own strengths, weaknesses, ambitions and traits. It is very important to maintain good relationships with our family members and allies as they have their own ambitions and dissatisfaction may lead to unexpected outcomes. Disloyalty is when the daggers come out, so be sure to keep everyone happy or maybe you will be the first one to eliminate a potential threat. You have to make crucial decisions, maintain good relationships with other kingdoms and grow in strength. Your peasants are your basic resource, they will work for you, fight, build and serve. But remember that they need to be fueled by motivation. They need to be happy, well fed and healthy. They will draw their swords to protect the village or to overthrow your tyranny, so be careful how you manage everything. Norland is set in a living world of various cultures, relations, history and religions. This game offers a lot of great gameplay mechanics and may be one of the best in its genre. Songs of Six is a fantasy city builder where you start off as an insignificant colony and build, scheme and fight your way towards a metropolis on the empire. This title is one of the most complex and true-to-life games, where small events may lead to the fall of many kingdoms. This living world is full of diverse races, cultures, old and new gods and strange creatures. Many events lead to the fall of kingdoms. Pirates, bandits, droughts and harsh weather conditions are your enemies. You have to prepare for everything and build your small kingdom or huge empire. You can create a capital with a thriving economy full of diverse races, but this will require a lot of work. Each one of them is not really happy to see the other, so you have to work to make them happy to live together or you can focus on creating a prospering kingdom with only one of them. There are massive battles, slavery, schemes, natural disasters, huge kingdoms and empires. You have to build, survive, fight and thrive. 
This game is one of the hardest out there. There are so many things to do and to learn. You won't be able to control your citizens directly, they will make sure to execute your plans if you take good care of them. But remember that everything needs resources, not only your buildings but also your people. Your kingdom will fall when your people are mad. Give it a try, it is a great game. Dwarf Fortress is a legendary game at this point. This is the father of all colony sims and the inspiration for great titles like RimWorld, Prison Architect and even Minecraft. I would gladly put it into number 1, but I decided to keep it as number 2 for various reasons. This version is a bit more suitable for new players as it is remastered, let's say, with beautiful pixel art style. This is still your good old dwarf fortress where you will lead your dwarves to glory. Each of them has a unique personality, traits and skills. This title is so big and so complex that it is hard to describe it. Each generated world is unique with various monsters and animals, generated poetry, musical forms, instruments and dances for your dwarves to practice and perform. Dynamic weather, hundreds of metals, mineral types and rocks to mine, health conditions, material properties, body parts, skills, weapons and armors, furniture and cosmetics. This game is really big and really amazing. This is your classical sim and I think you should really try it on your own to experience everything it has to offer. It is a bit old, even though it is refreshed it may not appeal to everyone, but if you don't know this title yet and you would like to play something similar to RimWorld, I would suggest it as number one, a father to the genre. And before we jump to the number one, I prepared some bonus games for you. And last but not least, RimWorld is a game that easily stands as one of my all-time favorites. I've already spent hundreds of hours in this game since its start. In my opinion, it's one of the best colony sims out there, thanks to its extensive pawn management systems and much more. In this game, we must help a group of survivors escape from an alien planet. Theoretically, our task is to eventually escape, but honestly, I've never done it. You have various difficulty levels, storytellers, each with different styles of gameplay. There are different biomes with various weather conditions, temperatures, wildlife and even monsters. Our colonists are unique, with their own stats that develop over time, unique traits, backgrounds and much much more. Keeping them well fed, happy, busy, healthy and well rested is very crucial. Also, maintaining relationships between us and other colonies, as well as among our colonists, is quite important. We can personally direct our colonists to or leave them be, they will work and live as they want. But that's not all. Various threats await us, from toxic fallouts and raids from other civilizations to horrors from other worlds lurking in the shadows. The game is still expanding, with new DLCs adding new great content and the modic scene is one of the best in my opinion. This game is a masterpiece and if you haven't experienced it yet, you don't know what you are missing out on. And that's everything that I've prepared for you today, I really hope you found some great titles to add to your list and if you did, tell me which one you are most excited about. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time, bye.